Hey guys, I just finished using the Peak and Everlast robots. Um, they just sent me these recently to do a review and uh, we're about to look at it together. So I just finished using it. My brother actually figured out how to do it and he's gonna run me through it real quick. So as you can see, the, these are the little robots. They come, they slip right on and you can charge them. Um, and right now you see the little blue light is linking. That means both of them are on still. I had just finished working out right now. I just did 12 rounds. Um, so my brother's gonna run me through it. This is the app that you download to use. So what do I do, Kenny? Click the top uh, right, the green. Top green. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to screen. I'm gonna put these down. I'm gonna screenshot this. Okay, so I'm gonna touch top green. What's this? Synchron synchronization. Yeah, it says hit start or... So screenshot that. Start. And it's syncing. And we play the waiting game. These are really cool and I'm really excited to see the results on the app to see how many punches I threw in general and you know whatnot. So once it's finished shaking, I will show you. Okay guys, so <clears throat> um, we just got back. Uh, it was sinking and while it was sinking, um, it took a little while to sink because of how many rounds we did, but I had some clients come in. So, you know, I did all that training. So now we're back um, to talking about this and I'm gonna just show you different ways to put this on. So this, the Peak Everlast uh, robot here comes in this little, it comes with this strap and you get the one bot, okay? So here, I'm gonna show you real quick. This is the bot and it comes with a little sticker. Now you get them, you can buy just one or you can buy two. I got two of them because I pair one with each hand. So when you pair them, they come with a little sticker. So this is the left, and then the other one is the right. It comes with the sticker L and R. I also wrote it with a marker just in case the sticker ever comes off, but uh, I don't think it will, but in case it does, I have it in a marker also. So this is the one for the left. So they're very easy to install right here. Now this little rubber part comes off, and I'm gonna show you, that's why I have my one hand wrap to show you. This little rubber piece here comes off and it slides on this. So once you have it in, you can connect it. This is how I would put it on. You put it through just like as if you're gonna wrap your hand. You go over and finish the wrap here and connect it. Now, notice where the robot is. It's no good. I have to move it so that it's here, right underneath my wrist. And I like to have the point connected to this little groove here. Uh, they just want it right in the center, but that just makes more sense to me to just have the point, the point of it here connecting here. What you don't want is the robot to be upside down, then it's on the wrong way. So the robot has to be on up like this. That's why it's good, it has this little strap, you can just switch it, you know. Now, if you don't want to use their strap, I have it on my hand wrap. So I wrap my hands and as you can see, the little rubber piece is through my hand wrap. So I put it on and make sure that it's where it's supposed to be. And then I just finish my wrap. Obviously you gotta make sure they're on, but then I just finished my wrap. The other thing you could do is, once you've wrapped your hand, just slip the rubber piece inside the wrap. Like you don't have to do it um, like this. You can just wrap your hands and when you're finished, you just slip the little robot on the inside with the rubber or just the robot itself as long as it's on. Okay, so um, those are just different ways to have them to, to use it. Now, the other way is obviously if you have your gloves. Um, this is just a way to use it with my hands. Uh, this is how I had it for my gloves. You would need to use their strap if you're gonna use it on the glove. So what I did for mine, uh, basically the way you have to do it is you where it Velcros, you just lay it so that, remember when it's done and wrapped, the robot is in the center. So this is the way I have mine right now. With the kind of gloves that I have, they're not the full, they just connect here. Some other gloves get, give you all the way around. So no matter how it is, you just wanna make sure that you place it correctly so that the robot is here, like that, okay? Through the outside. So that's how I had it on in the video. You guys could see when I was doing all my training. Um, so. This is awesome. I didn't know how cool it was gonna be. I mean, it sounded really cool when they sent it to me and they um, they asked me to do a review. I looked up, you know, it comes with like a, it was like a little teaser trailer video that they have explaining what it is. And it looked really cool, but I didn't actually realize how cool it was and what it actually did until 
I used it and that's what we're gonna go over now so you guys can see all the things that this really helps you with and especially as a trainer, not just as a fighter, but as a trainer and especially as somebody who does strength and conditioning for fighters, um, this is excellent. So we're gonna go over that real quick. All right, so guys, once you open the app, this is what it looks like. This is, uh, it went directly to the dashboard. And as you can see, it says my name, where I'm from, uh, the town that I am in the United States, and you can, it'll let you put up a picture of yourself if you want. And as you can see, it gives you your best peak score. I've only done one workout, so the peak score is what I have right now for my first workout. Um, and I did a total of 12 rounds. Um, what I'm gonna do real quick is show you some other stuff before I go through this. So if you click on the top left uh, little drop down thing, it brings you to this screen here. And here is where you can see your peak score, the dashboard, your sessions and settings. When you click on settings, settings is where it allows you to change, you know, like your profile. I go into my profile and it has all of my information. Um, and it allows you to add the picture if you would like. Um, <clears throat> when you go to sessions, it'll bring you to like a little calendar screen. Um, and then whatever days that you work out, you can click on that session in particular and it'll drop down. If you click on the day, as you can see, um, whatever sessions I did on that particular day will pop up on the bottom and then you would just click on that to bring it to your session. And then if you go to your peak score, this is what my total is my total peak score I'm because I've only done one workout this is what I have I'm not 100% sure on if it will change but I think it will and this is what it shows you the breakdown it evaluates my punch speed my average I would imagine that as I keep adding on to this these numbers will change and that's there so you can see this here all the different things that it shows you your speed your g-force your retraction um, and your total, which is how you get your score. So now when you go to the dashboard, the dashboard will show you um, your total statistics. So right now I'm at a total number of 2,639 punches. That was for my workout of today. Uh, the total number of calories that I burned during my workout today was 485 and the duration of my workout was 42 minutes. Okay, so now my records, these are my records for my one workout. So as I continue to train, uh, the, the numbers will change, my records will increase, and this is a really good way for you to test yourself and make sure you're always improving. As you can see, my best punch speed is 21.3 miles per hour, and that was my hook, and I'll show you where you find that in a second. And uh, for the record, just so you guys know, my workout was 42 minutes. I did around um, 12 two-minute rounds because I have a title boxing timer that I got in 2006 that I use um, and it worked really well. It's a really good timer, but it won't let me switch back to three minute rounds. It's stuck in the two minute round position. So Everlast, if you're watching this video, maybe send me uh, a timer so I can review. That would be awesome. Okay, moving on. So again, it shows you your records. So you see your miles per hour and then you look at your progress uh, active last active seven days, your peak score. We just got this um, a couple days ago. We tried it out. As you can see, it says May 12th. We were like testing it to see how it worked and today was the first day I did an actual workout. So now we're gonna go to, um, if we go to your sessions, you go to that particular session on that day. So the screen that we were on before with the calendar, you go back to that, you click on the session and it'll show you your session. So the last session I did, as you can see at the top of the screen, it'll, a little uh, drop down will come down. If you want to share it with your friends, you can do that. Um, you just have to X that out. And then you, it will show you May 13th at 9.40 a.m. I had my workout. And this is what it shows you. The speed of my left hook is terrific. It'll give you little things here and there um, where it says not enough progression in your session to compute your winning factors. Um, I'm going to assume that it's because I only worked out one time. And that's why that's there. So then you would click on the next button at the bottom. And this is where it shows you the breakdown of that session. So in the top, you can add a description. So how did you feel that day? I felt pretty good today. You can see if, if a day that maybe you had like a, a little bit of a cold, but you still wanted to get a workout and you can put that in there, you can put it in. So if you click on the edit button at the top, it'll bring you to this screen here 
where I put it through as a boxing session and uh, how did you feel? This is where you can change a lot of things. The type of session, so you, we did mitts, bag work, and shadow boxing. If you were to spar that day, you can select sparring. I didn't, so I did not. Then you save it at the top uh, and then it'll bring you, you have to just go back into your session and then it'll go to um, your location, the type of sessions as you can see, shadow boxing, bag, mitt, and the sparring was not selected. So now we're gonna go into the, it shows you the total number of punches. Here is your best punch speed and your best punch G-force, which is 23.6. Now, the session overview, as you, as you continue to scroll down, you're gonna see the session overview. The intensity was, my average punch per minute was 64 and the total number of calories that I burned, and it, again, it shows you your score. Now, the punch breakdown, this was really awesome. So you can select all the different punches. I think it's great that it actually is able to differentiate which punches you're actually throwing. Like, you're just moving your arms, but it knows that I threw 1,305 jabs compared to 401 cross. My right uppercut was 111, my right hook was 347, and so on. So you can click on each individual one. So if I click on my jab, you will see, it'll tell me the total number of punches between, it says uh, 370 between 10 to 20 miles per hour. So 10, I would imagine was my lowest. Um, oh, and it says here at the top, uh, 935 less than 10 miles per hour. So that would have been some of them that I was just throwing to throw maybe when you get tired, so it'll show you that. Um, and it tells you here, focus on your best 20% jabs, and it's gonna show the average was 11.7 miles per hour, the max speed that I had was 16.9 miles per hour, the max retraction average was 172, and I have 48. And then it shows you the max G-force of nine, 0.4 G and the, the top is 13.8. So comparing this to what was my best speed, my left hook, which was surprising to me, I would have never thought that the best speed that I had was t uh, my hook. I would have assumed it was the jab, but it wasn't. It was the left hook and you can compare it here to see what your max speed is. And you can compare it to any of the other uh, punches that you've thrown. So if I would also throw in the right hook in there and you would compare my left and my right hook Which one's faster? What do I have more g-force on if you want to throw your left uppercut compared to your right uppercut? This my left uppercut and you can see is 21.3 miles per hour Whereas my right uppercut was 14 miles per hour it was the best time So obviously I seem to be throwing better with the left um, I would have, again, I would have assumed that my jab was faster. So being a trainer, this would be really good for me to see because now I can see, okay, so we got to really work on that right side because my right side punches seem to be a lot slower than the left side. And now those are my power shots, they're not my fastest punches. So I would work on some rotational drills to increase the speed on that side, being a trainer. So again, this is great for trainers. It's good for fighters, but it's, I think, a little better for the trainer because we can really see where you're lacking in speed and power and we can do drills and exercises to increase that okay guys so overall i thought the peak everlast robot was amazing i'm so glad that they reached out to me to send them to me um, i'm glad that i have these because i mean I, I would love to use them for myself but i also would like to use them with my clients i do have a professional boxer that i do train so i'm probably going to switch and use it for him um, because I do more of the retract, the rotational work for him, functional work, speed, power. So for me as a trainer, this is awesome to see, but I could also, you know, just using it for myself, just to track myself and my progress and making sure that I'm constantly improving. So this is amazing guys. I would definitely recommend if you really want to take your boxing to the next level, this will definitely help you get there. So thanks for watching guys. Thank you again, Peak um, and Everlast for sending me these products so that I can uh, do this review and uh, hope to work with you guys more in the future. Thanks again, guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like all our channels. God bless.